Hi everyone, I'm JD from Love Bound Journals and today I'm going to be arranging the pages in these Daphne's Diary journals that I have been making from start to finish on my channel. So I've already got my first page and my middle page sorted. I'm just going to put those aside and basically I just kind of lay them out. I call it dealing cards. <laughs> because I just want to get a lay of the land and see what I'm working with. So I start off with, let's see, sometimes I start with a cream and sometimes I start with a decorative page, depending on what's on the cover. I think, yeah, I'll start off with the cream just so you can write on there. And then all I do is alternate. So I'm going to choose from my selection of lovely papers here. So I've got quite of a quite of a neutral palette there. So I think I want to use this one next because I kind of want to alternate the pages going horizontal and vertical and I want the butterflies there and then I think I want this one here because I need to make sure it's not close to that one and then we might go with you And then you, then we'll go with you. Actually, I think I want to put you here, and then you, this one, this one. Oh, that's the wrong way right around. Okay, I just want to check. Sometimes I'm happy with that straight away. And not that it matters too much, of course, because it's a junk journal, anything goes. But I just want to make sure it's looking the way I want it to. Beautiful. And I only have to trim maybe that page there. So that works out well. All right, now we're arranging this one. Again, I've got my middle page sorted and I do like that there, but I know I'm prioritizing writing space over something pretty. So I will put that one there. So that's often the case in the world of junk journals, right? You're trying to balance a whole bunch of different things. Beauty, the aesthetics, um, writing space, usability, and for me, it's just an intuitive decision-making process, you know? It's just whatever I feel like is right for me. <laughs> and it could be completely different to other people, and that's totally okay. There's no right or wrong, it's just what, what do you like? Okay, so this one is quite a more colorful assortment of pages. So I think I wanna go you. Since there's two of those, I want them split apart. And then there's a lot of florals in this one. I think I want you or do I want you? Nope, I do want you. And then I want this one. Then I think I want this one followed by this one. And then I think I'll go for you. Such pretty pages. A lot of florals happening in this one. 
Okay, beautiful. And what a stunning middle image for that one. So we'll line it up there. And this one again, we'll just need this one cut probably. So sometimes I cut these at the end after I've bound them because I don't think there's too many that need to be trimmed. I'm going to see if I'll just do it now. And I can tell some of these Daphne's Diary pages are a little bit wide. Again, it doesn't matter. Some people like the pages poking out the edges. Some people don't mind it. I don't like it <laughs> for some reason. Like I always say, I always think I don't mind because it doesn't matter at all. But I just like tidy edges. I don't like ripped edges. I like straight edges and I like them to be tucked in. If I'm going for a more rustic kind of journal, then yeah, I would be more comfortable with the pages peeking out. But as for now, this is just what I'm doing. This is what I like to do. But again, no right or wrong way. If you like them poking out the edge, that is totally cool. Okay, there we go. There are my two journals. In the next video, we will go ahead and bind these. And I did run a strip of washi, not washi, masking tape down there already. So they're ready to go. All I need to do is bind these. So I'll see you guys in the next video. A Bye. big special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in April. If you like my channel and would like to support it as well, there are a few ways you can do that. One is by becoming a patron where you get access to all my extra videos, including my member videos and the journal making series each month. Uh, and depending on your tier, you also get access to every digital kit in my Etsy, plus a new one each month. And there are various mail tiers as well, where I send you some goodies in the post. Uh, you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button. And all of the information and links are down below in the description box if you are interested in supporting Willowbound Journals.